A very good afternoon and a warm welcome to live day two coverage from the 2022 NH Ladies Championship. It's the sixth event on the 2022 KLPGA Tour season. And we're in the beautiful city of Yongjin at Suwon Country Club, where we have an amateur at the top of the leaderboard, the fourth ranked amateur in the world, Huang Yomin, backing up her opening round of 65 with a 70 this morning to leave her at nine under par at the halfway stage, fending off the finest from the KLPGA. Timothy Lowe here, good to have your company for day two of this 54 hole event. Lisa Me. She was right in the mix after an opening round of 66. Bogeyed her opening hole, but has picked up a pair of birdies since, has made the turn at one under. This to get within one of the lead. Putting a very nice roll on that ball. The first six events of the year has so me. Two times a winner on tour last season. And Jihan So coming off a birdie at the 10th now, winning up to the 11th. 471 meter par five. Only needs another two or three birdies coming home to make the final round tomorrow, and that will help. Very nicely played from Jihan Sol. Much bigger crowds have gathered this afternoon to watch day two action. We're only about 30 minutes away from downtown Seoul. Here in Yongjin. Now alongside Jihan Sol, Choi Min Kyung not having the best of days. She started with a double bogey six at the first. And even ton left for a third to 11. And like Jihan So plays that very nicely. Yeah, third and final player in this group, Park Yun Kyung, who's well, had a very pedestrian performance through her first 28 holes this week. Just the one under par. 87 meters left for the two-time KLPGA champion. And that's a hat-trick of very fine shots to this par five. 800 million Korean won prize purse up for grabs at the NH Ladies Championship. 144 million will go the way of the champion. Harmin Song here, currently at two under par. And she will stay there. It's been seven years since her breakthrough and only title on the KLPGA Tour. 132 players teed up this week, including a couple of amateurs, one of whom finds themselves at the top of the leaderboard. This is your defending champion, Park Min Ji. Made the turn in one under par 35. A disastrous triple bogey eight at the par 5 fourth last year's number one player on the KLPG8 seems to have found her stride after a slow start to the season top 10 finish at the KLPG8 championship and a solid week last week at the Kyochon Honey Ladies Open
bit of a disappointing morning for the overnight leader Songa and dazzled in that nine birdie round of 64 did the 20 year old but a one over par round of 73 will leave Garten at seven under par. Now, ah, Hyun Kyung should just move to her right. As for birdie at 11. Does it move that much? It's going to try. Yes. Skates by on the high side of the cup. Conditions this afternoon. Well, a little trickier than they were 24 hours ago. The breeze certainly the strongest it's been all week long, and the greens are rather slippery, to say the least. Now, Minji. He only missed one cut this year, and that was a withdrawal in the title defense of Gimhei Gaia. 27 left to the 10th. Pins cut just six paces from the right edge today. Oh, hello. Hello. Well, it's safe to say she's back to the form that saw her collect almost 1.5 billion Korean won in a record-breaking season that just ended a couple of months ago. So close to an eagle, too, to start her back nine. She was absolute money from that range last year. Anything from inside 125, 130. She was pretty darn good and had a hot putter to go with as well. Now out to Somi. And the group ahead. One of the longest players on tour. And she's pretty straight too. Just going to find the left half of the fairway. Good tee shot for Lee So Me. Last week's winner, Cho A Yan. Yard closer than Minji. What a birdie on the scorecard this afternoon for A Yan. But things might change here on the 10th. That's a very tidy shot. Former LPGA Tour player, now basing herself full time back home in Korea. The unmistakable pink golf ball. Third player in this group, number one on the money list, number one on the points list, but unfortunately for Yu Hei Ran, it's been a rather sluggish afternoon. She's already seen two very fine shots from her playing partners. Well, make it three into this tenth. Start of the day at one under par, but three bogeys against a birdie leave her the wrong side of par and the wrong side of the cut line. Hyun Kyung's already slipped one by for birdie. Choi Min Kyung. She's going to need plenty of red numbers in her last eight holes to play tomorrow afternoon. This would help. a body blow that got to take advantage of 11 because 17 not reachable for the players at over 500 meters long with breezy conditions if you're battling to make the cut you cannot afford to let chances like that slip like hey run min kyung starting at one under par this afternoon but slipping backwards hansel surely someone's got to make birdie after those three fine shots to get back to level par. No, and that one peels by on the low side as well. Just needed a touch more pace. And a par, just a par. Keeps Jihan so level for the day, but you see there in a share of 72nd right now. Those 65 players and ties will tee it up tomorrow for the final round the cut mark is well, right where Park Yung Kyung is sitting at one under Everybody look here for Kim Jin Hee at 12 to get to four under oh, oh. round 
you spin and in it goes for Im Jin Hee. Nicely done. It's the third birdie of the day. Open with a 69 yesterday did the 23-year-old. Last year's BC Cart Han Kyung Ladies Open winner. To Heiran. He's already collected a pair of trophies this year. Needs to get back to even par. Very nicely done from the 20 year old. Has yet to finish outside the top 10 this season. She's going to need quite the run to keep it that way. Have a look at this. It tried to sneak off left. There's no nowhere else. 18 of her last 19 rounds were under par. Starting today. Okay. So me, second shot to 11, just laying up here. Not going to get it home from 237 into the breeze. It's all about position. Try and leave yourself handy. Nice full shot. Make it maximum spin, hold it close to that front edge of the green. Okay. Ayan. Important putt this. To right of this one. Okay, two for two for the players in match 31. Ayan and Heyran both making birdie at the par four tenth to start their back nine. So trying to inch their way ever closer to the cut mark, which right now sits at one under par. Can Minji make it three for three? This 10th is a brilliant second shot. She could almost play this inside left edge. Don't want to give the hole away from this range. Very good putt from Park Min G. Fifth birdie of the day. We've seen a lot more celebration, a lot more emotion from the defending champion this afternoon. Sluggish start to the year, but she is flying up that leaderboard. Park Min Ji now gets to seven under par. And within two shots of the teenager at the top of the leaderboard. So Somi and Min Ji making the moves this afternoon, but it's still Huang Yeo Min leads the way at nine under par.
Somi now third shot to the 11th. He's just six paces from the front edge. That's pretty good. Okay, Kim Soo Ji, winner of last year's Hype Jinro Championship. Tee shot at 13. She was in the final group at Ildong Lakes a couple of weeks ago. Eventually finishing a couple of shots behind eventual winner Kim A. Lim. And that's a great tee shot from Soo Ji. Like Park Min, she had a breakout year last season with two victories and a major title. Uh, Kwon Seo Yon, one over on the date. No birdies yet on the scorecard. Although you figure that's probably going to change. Here on 11. Wonderful shot. Not easy, that one. Awkward. Not much green to work with. Beautifully played by Seo Yon. Lee Seo Yon. Third and final play in this group. Slightly different angle. And more green to play with. So, got to be landing this about a yard past the fringe. It should release up. Oh, it's even better. Beautifully judged by Seong Yon. So, that should take her back to even par on the day and one under for the championship. The green here is where we find Park Yun Kyung. No back foot stab and run required. It's trying, it's trying to release out. It's going to come up just a fraction shy. start to the season that Park Yun Kyung was looking for but Seong Yeon gets back under the cut mark at one under par with a nice timely birdie at the 11th okay on Seo Yeon first birdie of day two Seen a lot of players do that. On the top side of 11, try to force it in. She's got well, a longer putt coming back. Okay. Suji, great tee shot for a birdie two. Nicely done for Kim Suji. That's a third birdie on first Saturday. Gets her back inside the top 25. In the company of Choi Yirim and Im Jin Hee this afternoon is Kim Suji. Fans out in force for day two at the NH Ladies Championship. And they will see the name of 19 year old Huang Yo Min. Leading the way at nine under par. Great round of 66 this morning from last year's Ever College and Queen's champion. Jan Yisung sees her within one. But the big moves of the afternoon wave, that's coming from the defending champion, Park Min Ji, and two-time champion in 2021, Lee So Mi, who finds herself with this to get to within one of the lead. Just so much slope in that front right section of the green. Players can scarcely believe it. Now, Hyun Kyung with a little more than she was hoping for to stay at even par and to stay the right side of the cut mark. This is for par at 12. Yu 
Yun Kyung. Well, she's going to slip back to even par. Those 60 professionals and ties continue their journey tomorrow afternoon. Of course, we have one amateur under the cart mark, and that amateur is leading. So me. Coming back up the hill for a five. Okay, no problems for Lee So Mi. The exception of that drop shot at the first, but very tidy since. Hyun Kyung. So bogey five. Drop shot of the day. It's going to take her into a share of 66th spot. Of course, well, well the cut line still could move back to, to even par. You'd need four players to drop. So plenty of golf to be played this afternoon. Show Ayan a shot further back. Seen from a couple of players, you want to be underneath this hole. Well, that'll just about do it for Cho Ayan. shot from last week's champion it's a comfortable four shot win at the end of the 54 holes at the Kyo Chon Honey Ladies Open beating Lee Ka Young to the title now Inji such a great simple action with a wedge in hand have it that just a fraction tugging it left. Even when she misses, distance control is absolutely spot on for Park Min Ji. Increase of 100 million Korean won in the prize fund for this year's NH Ladies Championship. Of course, your leader at the moment, well, she can't take a penny of it because she is a 19-year-old amateur. Not that it's going to bother her. We will see her name at the top of leaderboards for many years to come. It's still the teenager up top on day two at the NH Ladies Championship.
Yuhei Ran's got it green high in two on this downwind par 5 11th. And that is simply sensational from Yuhei Ran. There's a reason why she's won twice already this year. Birdie Eagle start to the back nine, and all of a sudden, Yuhei Ran gets it the right side of par and the right side of the cut line. Look at that. Well worth another look. Pitcher in the perfect spot. It was traveling with some heat, but coming uphill, flagstick got in the way, and you hey run. How could she make a bit of a move on this inward half? You wouldn't put it past her. Now, up to the 12th, and Lee So Me. 23 left for Somi, staring this one down for good reason. Pin high again, lovely second shot. All right, Park Min Ji, what do you have for us? Touch of movement to the right, coming up the hill. a touch of movement from left to right uh, but the signs are good we should be in store for some fireworks on this inward half from this featured group this afternoon after such a momentum game you see your playing partners playing well you start to get pulled along it's been a very solid start to the back nine for match 31 and Im Jin Hee going about her business currently four under par and with a good look to get to five under Remember she had picked about seven players it seemed like half the field by a shot when she won the BC card Han Kyung ladies cut last year now Ayan for a second straight birdie okay very good up and down from Cho Ayan We'll take a, a shot closer to the cut mark. <laughs> to 12. And Somi. Can get another birdie. To pull her within one of Huang Yeo Min's nine under target. So from Park Yun Kyung's. Everything falls away to the front part of the green. I'm just backing off that a fraction. I don't think it's. I don't think the wind is strong enough or the green slick enough that it's going to affect the break of the golf ball, but it's still difficult to settle yourself. I'm getting gusts of breeze. So he resets this for birdie. Similar to the putt she hit on the last hole, just falling away to the low side. Still, she's creating chances, and that's the most important thing. Okay, Joe here, Lim. And birdie at the tenth. Done indeed. Joe here, Lim. That's a third birdie of her round. Gets it up to four under par. So, despite trickier conditions, the birdies are there to be had for these players in the afternoon wave. Featured group well, made their way through the 11th. They'll now head up to the elevated par 4 12th tee. Stretches out to 361 yards, but it's a generous sized fairway. Just a lone big bunker up the left hand side that will catch out any tugged tee shots. Most of the field will be playing their approach shots from right around here, giving them anything from a wedge for the sh longest hitters to 
maybe even a seven or a six iron for some of the shorter ones. The penalty area to the short right of the green not really going to come into play and there's no bunkers to speak of. It take a really poor shot to end up long left in that horizontal trap behind the green. The pin today on 12, got 14 from the front and 8 from the right. And a fairly generous position in the middle section of the green but you want to be coming in from pin high left to leave yourself a makeable birdie opportunity. Hey run with the driver one of the longer players on the KL PGA Tour according to the stats sheet only averages on 248 yards off the tee that's where she hits a lot of three woods keep that ball in play plays her position a fair amount and when she's out with the driver she can keep up with some of the biggest hitters in the professional game that's safety down the middle for Heyron Left to right look for Injun He. Carried some speed to the middle of that putt. And it's still rolling on by. of them coming last year. Okay. Straight up the middle alongside Yu Hei Run for the 23-year-old reigning KLPGA number one. I think she made 1.5 billion one missing four cuts. That is some seriously good golf from Park Min Ji and the good news is she seems to be back to her best. Currently sits in a share of third with the overnight leader Song Ga Eun and Lee So Mi who's out in the group ahead of her. Wang Yo Min tossing in a couple of late bogeys today but still enjoying a one-shot advantage in the clubhouse. Will she lead going into the final round? That is the question. Lee Seung Yeon. celebrated her birthday a week and a half ago. And all the way back in 2016. Former winner of the Nexen Saint 9 Masters. And it gets pretty breezy at Gimhae Kai. I can see it through the trees behind this tee box on 13. Yeah, it gets pretty breezy but here at Suwon Country Club. that out to the right a fraction but it's fine no problems for Seong Yon I know she can handle some breeze finished fifth on the um, LPGA Tours Lotte Championship in Hawaii last month Top 25 finishes at the Nixon in last week's Kyocho Honey. 10th at the KLPGA. Right now sits 10th on the money list through five events. Right, Lee Seong Yun just leaking that one out to the right slightly. No problems. Get a touch of help from that slope. She's going to get a little help with the line read from Lee Seung Yun. Fair amount into the 
Marie's five iron from 140 meters. She's talking to it. That's why. How many times did we see that on repeat last year? Minji flagging it with the irons once again. It's a beautiful day in the city of Yongjin, and it's a beautiful view from the top of the points and money list if you're Yu Hei Ran. She leads in both categories. And of course, the 19 year old rookie professional, Lee E. Won, currently leads the rookie of the year points race. And after a very nice round of 67 today, a bogey free effort, she finds herself in a share of eighth at six under par. Of good finishes over the last couple of weeks for Lee Hee Won. Yet to miss a cut in her rookie season on the KLPGA Tour. Cho Ah Yan, rookie of the year back in 2019, and what a what a rookie class that was. He Ran, He Jiong, and this lady, Yun Kyung as well. Triumphant in 2019 has made a fairly good living ever since. And some trouble off the tee, so pitched out to here. Third shot just across the green. Going to carry a little mound about 20 feet in front of her. A big first kick. And that's going to be an important putt. A very good. Start to the back nine, birdies at 10 and 11. Big, huge momentum saving par putt. If she can pop that one in. younger and younger not only in South Korea but around the world because he is a 20 year old he's already won five times in her young career got as high as 16th in the Rolex Women's World Rankings at the end of 2020 outside chance for a three here at the 12th it's got a good pace Nicely judged from Big Yuhei Run. Twelve months alone. Okay, it's a tidy two, but keeps her from two under. A little buffer on that cut line. Uh, Lee Seung Yon can be giving Lee So Mi a free line read here. start and it will want to turn to her left about 30 feet oh, I don't think she's hit it I don't think she's hit it gave that a little bit too much respect the line was good But for par at the 12th to stay at even. Oh, just burns the right edge of the cup. So after a couple of nice birdies to start the back nine, she will 
drop back to one over par. But for me, so me, it's yet another look at a birdie. Sam Young gave her a great line read. As long as he, she stays positive with this, it should scare the hole. coming keep coming oh great effort so so me likable personality on the KLPJ to always oh, seems to be smiling and in a very good mood so Pat Minji will be in a jubilant mood should this one drop in the bottom So a nice start with a with a birdie at the second hole. Bounce back brilliantly from that eight at the fourth with three birdies in her next four holes. Needs to get within one. Oh, and she is at it again. <laughs> she starts walking in putts like that. The rest of the field starts to pay attention. Sixth birdie of Saturday for Park Min Jean. It takes her within one of the 19-year-old leader. Tiddler coming back to drop just the one. Okay. 22 years old in a couple of months, Cho Ayan. Yon. Just enough meat on the bone, proverbially, to give her cause for concern. It's a, it's a fiddly little one where you don't really want to start it outside the right edge of the cut because if you get a little rush of blood to the head, so easy to knock it through the break and have it flip out on the high side. If you start this sort of dead straight, you're not committed to it, easy to lose it left. Start picking that line and trusting it. This for par. That's the former right there. Try to start that on the right edge. Hit it firm and, oh dear. Same length coming back up to 15 and Injin He. 106, very inviting hole location on 15 today. Well played, Injin He. Conditions have been tricky, but the hole locations have presented plenty of birdie opportunities, and 2022 has presented. Plenty of opportunities for the fans of golf to get back out the golf course and watch the finest male and female professionals in Korea ply their trade. Population of 51.7 million people in South Korea, 7 million registered golfers. They are positively golf mental in this part of the world. Three of the biggest stars in the Korean and world game. Right now, deciphering the wind on this par 3 13th. Well, three ladies here know how to play in the breeze. So we're going to clean up for par first before Seung Yon has a crack at bogey. No problems. Or so me. Right up and close to the action. Fans that have gathered at Suwon Country Club this Saturday afternoon. Aunt Minji, she is putting on a proper charge. Triple bogey and all. Finds herself within one. 
flag stick whipping in the breeze. It looks like it's it's down off the left slightly, but probably more straight off the left than down off the left. So quarters from time to time. Park Min Ji, one of the quicker players on the KLPG tour. He doesn't dawdle over the ball for too long. Once you get set over it, pulls the trigger fairly quickly. Feather a little six iron in. Didn't quite feather it enough, so it's going to release to the back part of the green. Mm. Testy two putt from the higher level. golfer rather deliberate in her approach likes to make sure that she is completely settled before pulling the trigger it's worked well so far this season the worst finish of the year was 10th place at Ildong Lakes at the KLPGA Championship just a 7 iron for Hayron Better shot from Hay Run. She had a very difficult start to 2021, missing her first three cuts as a professional. Now, Min Kyung, birdie at 14 to get to one over. Keep those chances of playing Sunday alive. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, Joy Min Kyung. Well done. Yeah, birdie at 13, birdie at 14, now gets to one over par. Min Jin Hee, terrific second into 15. Not much left, Just about five and a half, six feet. And birdie three to take her to five under. Nicely done, Im Jin Hee. It's into the top ten with that three at the fifteenth. Me so me. But the long four fourteenth. section so slightly easier than it was yesterday. This looks to be helping. That's a pretty big tee shot from So Me, well past the trap on the right side of the fairway. Conditions trickier, but birdies very much guessable for the likes of Park Min Ji and Lee So Mi, who've taken advantage of some hot putters this afternoon, but it's still the teenager up top. Yo Min leads the way at nine under par.
touchy two putt from the upper level of this 13th green for Park Minji. Just get it over that ridge. The slope will do the rest. And down it comes. It's tracking on a pretty good line. Well, that would have been some two for Park Minji. It's just going to trickle by to about four or five feet. Just a little work to be done for Park Minji to remain eight under. So me up ahead on 14. It's a green light pin if you can find this fairway. And ten on from the front in the lower section. That is very well played from Lee So Me. Certainly the best look at Birdie she's given herself so far on this back nine. Right underneath the hole. Now Cho Ayan for the bounce back Birdie at 13. Keep tracking. Keep tracking. Oh, how has that stayed up? Oh, she can scarcely believe it. Did everything but go in. Choyan needs to find a couple of birdies coming back. Disastrous outward half of 39. Really leaving her with a fair amount of work to do. Now, hey, Ron, to keep this... Run of good form on the back nine going. This to get to three under. Now that's left. You look left all the way. Bit of a misread from Hayran. So after starting Birdie Eagle, that charge has stalled slightly. And the 18 of the last 19 rounds under par. A run of 13 straight rounds before Saturday at Ildong Lakes. Uh, Minji. Okay. Well hold for Park Minji. Buries that in the middle. off with a three at the 13th as well set for another brilliant year on the KLPGA tour as the sixth event of what will be a 24 event long campaign for the best female golfers in South Korea Five billion Korean won up for grabs, and of course the Hazzy's Point Trophy won three years in a row by Choi Hee Jin before Park Minji picked up that beautiful trophy last year. It's Yu Hei Ran who leads the way right now after a sparkling start to the 2022 campaign. As the ladies make their way off the par 3 13th, we'll take you up to the par 4 14th. About as straight as it gets, stretches out to 351 meters, but plays a touch shorter than that this afternoon with the wind helping off the tee. Like most fairways here at Suwon Country Club, very wide, very generous. However, if you do stray too far left, there are some trees up there, and there's a big old bunker to catch any pushed tee shots. Once you find the short stuff, we're playing to the green on the right. You see a lot of double greens in North Asia for the winter months and one for the summer months. Green on the right, oh, it features a little two-tiered putting surface. You, know, you saw the pin on the back section yesterday. Much more scorable today. Ten from the front and just seven from the left.
he run. The driver. Afford to wail away at that, but that's a bit quick at the bottom. Tugs it into the left rough. That's okay. Looks to be sitting up fine for Hay Run. Again, very generously sized fairways at Suwon Country Club. Gives a big advantage to the to the power players. Park Min Ji very much a power player. So play that little tight draw with her driver so she can start it at that right track. Sling one down breeze. Very nicely done. Compart Minji. Minji just one off the lead. Hey run two under Cho Ayan battling to make the cut, which right now sits at one under par. Thank you. I find herself very much in the same boat as a rookie class of 2019 compatriot. And we've seen that a little bit in the last couple of weeks. Only very tidy around the greens. Just leaving herself a couple of those four, five, six footers. And that putter with a little bit too much to do. So me, terrific second shot to 14. Can she take advantage? This to draw level with Park Minji at eight. Well done, Lee So me. Patiently waited for that third birdie of the day, and it comes at 14. Now goes into a share of second with her good friend Park Minji. Birdie look here for Jong Yun Ji at the par four ninth. Has to go out in 34. Okay. Not bad. He's playing the final group this afternoon alongside Jung Se Bin. Kim Woo Jong. Third play in this group had to withdraw after yesterday's opening round, but Chung Yun Ji traveling along well. And Hyun Kyo for a part to stay at one over. Okay, well done for Park Hyun Kyo. Two over the card in the second round to find at least two birdies coming home to avoid her first miscut of the season.
she, she did it so majestic. Good tee shot. Keep it underneath the hole here. And her favorite range, 123 meters with a nine iron. Okay, just a fraction shy. Could have done with a bigger first kick, but that's all right. Be aggressive with that look. to a solid start with Park Minji. 20 meters left on the par four second pin, was in the middle of the green. Absolutely flagged it for a kick in opening birdie. So that took Minji to six under par, and then took an eight at the par five fourth. How would she respond? Well, in the best way possible, tee shot here at the par 3 fifth Which perfection once more from Park Min Ji the irons definitely dialed in this week at Suwon Country Club she found another birdie at the sixth and then well the putters started getting hot as well this from the back of the green on the par 5 eighth found its target and took Park Min Ji back into red figures in his second round and up to six under par for the championship. Went out in 35, picked up a birdie at the par 4 10th. And hit this glorious five iron from 140 meters into the breeze at the 12th to set up the sixth birdie of the day. Gosh darn near birdie the par 3 13th from the back portion of the green. Park Minji making the biggest move of this afternoon wave. How costly is that triple bogey eight on the fourth hole going to be come Sunday afternoon? Minji only one shot back and in familiar territory at the pointy end of a KLPGA Tour leaderboard.
just short of 14 is where we find Yuhei Ran. Pretty flat spot here. She's already chipped in once on this nine at the 11th. Put it past her to do it again here at 14. Much simpler chip. Gave it a good run. short game that's what you need to compete week in week out of these play for pay ranks so cast high and four should keep hey run at two under bar yep, no problems good up and down to record a birdie that's very very nicely played Kwon Seo Yon into the 15th now Somi once again operating out of the middle of the fairway she following her playing partner you see that pin it looks like it's cut over the edge of the bunker but there's quite a bit of room it's 20 on from the front Good line, just hanging left. That's right. Another well-played shot, pin high for Lee So Mi. So birdie opportunities for So Mi, Seo Yon, and Seong Yon to come at 15. This is a very good birdie look for Park Min Ji underneath the hole. Shouldn't do too much break-wise. If anything, just fall into the right as it loses base. But she is putting uphill. This is to put her into a share of the lead at nine under par. Oh, just forgot to hit it. That's half a roll shy to park me in Jeep. She'll remain eight under. Like Lee So Mi and Jun Mi Sung. One shot behind the amateur leader. Now this is in Jin Hee at 17. Just coming out of the right rough and coming off a bogey at 16. It's a decent angle to this left hole location. Uphill third shot. Managed well for Im Jin Hee. Back down the 15th tee we go. Im Ji. A similar tee shot to the 14th. That's a dead straight hole. That's a dead straight bullet right up the middle. For Minji. Well, by the time she left Suwon Country Club last year, she already had two titles. Still looking for a first of this new 2022 season. Up on the green, so me for another birdie to get to nine under and a share of the lead. Just a fraction high for Lee So Me. off with a very strong defense of her Lotte Rent-A-Car Ladies Open title at Sky Hill. Finishing up just a shot shy to Jiang Su Yon before heading off to Hawaii where she did finish fifth on the LPGA Tour. So far, good enough to keep her at eight under. Now, Jiang Su Gi. of the day for her currently five under one under on the day all right it's 
safely on the putting surface. And alongside Kyo Dabin and Yu Xiu Yon, both of whom will miss the cut. They've been struggling today. Yi Xiong Yon. Good second shot. Has to get back to level par. Very well hold. Went on to miss that putt at 13, so that was a double bogey. Responds nicely with a birdie there at the 15th, which will move her to even par. Now, Lin Jin He for the bounce back birdie at 17. Good aggressive stroke, not to be for Injin He. Kwon Siu Yon. That's a very important birdie. Gives her a little bit of breathing room. Up to two under she goes. Birdie of the day now. Jin He for a comebacker. Okay, nicely done. All three players in this group safely within the cut mark. Choi Ye Rim at one under and Kim Soo Ji at three. And Jin He, she's at four under and one under on the day. Back to the 15th and the second shot now of Park Min Ji. So slightly easier angle in the left half of this fairway than where Lee So Mi played from. And 26 left, loves this number. That's time. Good line, but is it turning back? Oh. Does it surprise anyone? Park Min Ji has flagged another one. Best work has come with the irons in the past, and well, they're leading her to birdies this afternoon at Suwon Country Club. She's done so many times over the last 12 months. Park Minji flag hunting with iron in hand. It is a thing of beauty to watch, and that is all that's left to move Park Minji into a share of the lead of her title here at the NH Ladies Championship. Hey, run. No nine left. In between clubs for Hey, run. Feather a little nine iron in there. Oh, well played. So hard to take some off it when you're playing town win, but Hey, run. Doing a very nice job there. Now, Amy Rim, not going to be her week here. Just for a double bogey at the last. It's been a very disappointing afternoon. Okay. And it goes around of 78. We'll see Lee Mi Rim miss the. 36 hole cut. No more golf to be played for Limi Rim this week in Yongjin City. Well, event number six on the 2022 KLPGA Tour season sees a 19 year old amateur, Huang Yo Min. Top the leaderboard at nine under par, but Lee So Mi and Park Min Ji making moves this Saturday afternoon at Suwon Country Club. Good to have your company in this second round of the NH Ladies Championship. Here is Lee So Mi on the 16th. Fancy a beautiful new Mercedes Benz E Class? Well, all you got to do is hole out from 139. Just tugging that a fraction. That's okay. Pin high. Pretty flat chip. Now back 
out to the ninth and what Jung Seul Gi hopes is the final stroke of her second round. Right to left. Ooh, settle down. That was a bold attempt for Jung Seul Gi. That one in, heading into Sunday. Cho Ayan needs something special to happen. Got a bit of work to do for par there. And Yuhei Ran, though, this might be optimistic. I figure she makes two birdies in the closing four holes. You start Sunday within five, especially with a player with, with Heyran's capabilities. It's not out of the realm of possibility. We've seen low rounds this week. So 64, a couple of 65s yesterday. It's a different mindset when you're chasing. This would help us to get to three under for Heyran. Straight putt you saw from behind the hole there. Just got to hit it. And that one started low and moved. Poor line read there from both myself and Heyran. He moved a lot more than either one of us thought. He was absolutely flying at the start of this back nine. Now four straight pars. Yuhei Ran. Still three holes to play today. And if she can get in at four under, there's still a chance of a third title in six events. And Seul Gi. This will part at her final hole of the day. Yeah, well hold. Good day's work for Jung Seul Gi. One under par round of 71 inside the top 10. Heading into the final round here at the NH Ladies Championship. Cho Aryan with a must make. Well, they all have to go in. Coming home for Aryan, who started at one under par, but going out in 39. Did start birdie birdie on her inward half, but a drop shot at 12. And really making the going difficult. Still a chance. Side right edge putt. Oh. Oh, it's been a bit of a struggle Saturday afternoon at Suwon Country Club for Ayan. Pretty much going to need to birdie the last three holes if she wants any more golf this week in Yongjin. Just off the edge of the 16th is where we find Lee So Mi with a very makeable chip. Just going to play this off the instep of the back foot. Just carry it a yard on the green and it should release out to the hole. Yeah, nicely played. Good technique. It's a very simple shot. A lot of people tend to overcomplicate things. You see a lot of amateurs lob wedges trying to play slightly more lofted shots just put it in the back of your stance and you know poke it forward see it rolling like a putt golf's hard enough you don't have to make it any more complicated and there's been nothing complicated about the way that Park Min Ji has made her birdies today hit good iron shots and hold solid putts this for a share of the lead well done Park Min Ji finds herself in a share of the lead once again on the KLPGA Tour. A seventh birdie of her second round. She draws level with the 19-year-old Huang Yeomin. Min Jin Hee on the closing hole from the top of the hill. 141 left. Just leaking that out. To the bunker. 
Looking all over the finish. Jin he had it to five under through 15 holes. Drive that up and down to finish at four. Lee Seung Yon. This putt for par at 16. Crucial. For a bit to tee it up tomorrow afternoon. Just to stay at even par. Very nicely hold from Lee Seung Yon. Look at that fist pump. I think she knows what that means. One birdie in her final two holes. It will be good enough to make the cut. So me. About three and a half feet. For a par. That is par 316. Okay, tidy up and down for Lee So Me. Two holes to play in her second round. Only one shot behind the pair of co leaders. Nine under par. Now the par 316. A hole in one hole for this week's MH Ladies Championship. It's 139 meters. We're playing to the green on the right. It's guarded by a rather long bunker starting from the front right edge of the green, sort of snaking round the back. That doesn't really come into play with today's whole location, which is 15 from the front and just 7 from the left. It's a fairly generous section of the green. Really, anything pin high or just slightly short of it leaves you a good look at a birdie too. Challenge for that Mercedes Benz with her Ryan game, but one hand off the club might suggest that's tugged. And left edge of the green. Not a complicated up and down remaining for your tournament co leader. See that flag hanging limp on the green, but the, the trees are swirling, or the, the branches on the trees are swirling back on the tee. Look at that red tree just behind the tee. So it almost feel like they're in a bit of a wind tunnel. But they look up at that green, which is slightly elevated. There's nothing. Lin really tricking up the players around this closing stretch of Suwon Country Club. Lin does flight her ball beautifully. Notice that this season. Be comfortable taking a longer club and just sort of feathering it. And come up and out of that one. She's lost that one right. Whoa. That finds that greenside bunker that I said wouldn't come into play. Very loose swing from Yuhei Ran on the 16th. Now, it was a loose swing that found Im Jin Hee in this greenside trap. Everything running away from her. She want to carry it there with spin or try and plonk this on the fringe. Going with the former option, but just so difficult. Not much room to work with. It's a disappointing finish to this round. Well, Im Jin Hee still has a chance for a 71, should she pop that one in? Well, to 17, he so me. He got this hole yesterday. Rolled out beautifully from the middle of the fairway. And that one's going to go chasing on down. Well, is it? Nobody could 
get home in two on this par five. Lee So Mi is one of the longer hitters. I wonder if she's going to be tempted to try and sneak it up there as close as she possibly can. Suji on the last. Currently three under. Just a bit delicate with that. Gave the slope touch too much respect. Reigning height Jinro champion. Well, it's been another glorious afternoon of golf at Suwon Country Club. Weather has been beautiful. The breeze has picked up. The course has been tricky. Park Min Ji and her red hot iron game. Four under par on the day. Nine under par shares the lead with Huang Yo Min. Last engine heat for an up and down Sandy's par at the last and a round of 71. And it's going to be slow coming back the other way. See this 18th green, everything wants to fall to the right of the front part of this par 4 green. Great try, great roll, but the mistake was that second shot. Damage was done. Really tough up and down, and a really disappointing finish for Im Jin He. It's going along very well. He opened with a 69 yesterday, and can do no better than a 72 this afternoon. Now, Hey Run with a 60. Is she bunkered, or is she just out of that sand? Looks like she is bunkered. Long splash shot required. Flight halfway there, just let it release out the rest of the way. Good acceleration for that. Landed very softly, and well, there's a couple of thoughts might be creeping through the head of Yu Hei Ran. Park Hyun Kyung. As for Birdie at 17. She needs this and another on 18. Left to right. Uh, is it going to stay up? Yes, it will. Park Hyun Kyung. Don't count her out just yet. It's a good time to make a third birdie of the day. So back to even par goes Park Hyun Kyung. Inji. Team Korea teammate through amateur days. Okay, good play. Not stone dead yet on 16 for the tournament co leader. Suji for a closing part. Under par 70. Okay. Nicely done for Kim Suji. Satisfying clink as that ball hits the bottom of the cup. At 35 home in 35. She'll start Sunday. Three under par. Start Sunday alongside her playing partner in Jin He. Oh, this left for a, a bogey five at the 18. Okay. So two over in her last three holes. Signs for a 72, like Kim Soo Ji will. Start the final round in a share of 25th. It's 16 and a lengthy par putt upcoming for Yuhei Ran. Minji, not stone dead yet, but enjoying a share of the lead at 9 under par, courtesy of 7 birdies in this second round. Hey Ran, back at 2 under. 
should just drift a fraction to her left. Fairly flat as, as elevation goes. I don't think it's anything more than half a ball outside the right edge. Agonizingly close for Yuhei Ran. Now a drop shot is going to take her back to where she began Saturday at one under. And we find the cut mark right now. Share of 50th. No 60 professionals and ties make the cut. Tie for 63rd right now is even par. One amateur under the cut mark, and of course, Huang Yu Min. Two players drop back to even par, and a host of names can breathe a sigh of relief, including Li Chae Yun, too, who finished bogey par double this morning to leave her at even. And Hyo Ju as well, over in her last six to leave her at even par. Now Minji getting the flag stick in for this little town hiller. Just have to get it started. Greens are slick enough that the ball will get to the hole. This for par. Well done from Park Min G. A very nice up and down from the left side of 16. Keeps a share of the lead with Wang Yo Min. The final group that promises to be tomorrow afternoon. They played with each other in the final round of the Korea Women's Open at Rainbow Hills last year. Will Lee So Mi be the third ball in that group? 243 left, right on the limit for Somi, but that's only a hybrid. So playing four position. That's a good spot to be pitching from. The top of the hill will be able to see the putting surface at the bottom of the flag. But the 17th does play so uphill from where the players hit their third shots. It's a huge advantage if you have the power of Lee So Mi. But it's a tie in pole position right now. Huang Yo Min, after a solid 70 this morning, shares the lead with Park Min Ji, who's four under through the 16 holes she's played so far today. Johnny Sung and Lee So Mi, a shot further back.
so me. Left edge of the 17th, par 5. Toss this one up in the air from 73. Or just past the pin. Is it going to get a little help from the slope? The answer is no. So it's a birdie look for Somi, but it's going to be a fairly quick one. Out to the closing hole. Where they find it's a three at the last to secure her place in the field tomorrow afternoon for the final round. Gotta be aggressive here on 17 left, slight downhill line. Trap one in there. That is exactly what she needed to do. A touch of class from Park Hyun Kyung. Lee <laughs> Jung Min, former winner of this championship back in 2015. Two over par, she plays the 16th. And a player who needs a hot run coming in to make the cut. That's a pretty good place to start. Nice tee shot there on 16, figuring out the wind well. And 17, tee shot safely away. For this featured group, Park Minji just out of the right rough. Keep this up the left hand side. Smart shot there, low bullet up the left hand side. Not going to make it all the way up to where Somi played her third form, but that's fine. And the defending champion. It's a miraculous finish to make the cut. You hey, Ron. Right on the cut mark, as things stand, at one under par. It'll be a very nervy wait for the players at even in the championship. There is Heyran. And luckily, avoided all those divots at the right hand side. So, no problems for Heyran. Doing the smart thing here, just with an iron out, no need to risk anything. A couple of bars will get her through to the final round. Just peeling off a fraction right. Oh, well, it's okay. Well, it's a pretty long way back. The current money list and points list leader, Hey Ron. Now, through the shadows on this 17th green, be so me. Make it a three-way tie at the top. Got to be careful with this. Easy to have this one roll a couple of feet past with a rush of blood to the head. Giving that a lot of break. Is it going to come back? No. Such too much respect from the so me. Well, she bogeyed her opening hole. Hasn't dropped a shot since. Collected three more birdies along the way. Little knocker left to stay one back Jung Min a much needed birdie at the 16th she might be so we bogeyed her opening hole she birdied the other par 3 on this 9 the 13th this will get her back to where she began the day at one over par Straight off the blade, started left of her intended start line. Just a straight up pull. And the seven time winner on the KL PGA Tour. And 
so mean. We'll test her to stay at eight under. Boldly hold from so me. Up to 18. It's an important putt for Park Hyun Kyung. And in the grand scheme of things, the cut line. So if she pops this one in, she'll definitely be safe at one under. to hurt because that would move even far back to a share of 65th remember low 60 players professionals and ties will play the final round tomorrow low 59 players and ties for all intents and purposes with Park Yo Min at nine under so this to make the cut for Park Yun Kyo Agonizingly close to the four time champion. Made a great birdie on 17. Birdie slips by the edge on the 18th. A one over par round of 73. And she will have to wait with the rest of the players at even par to see if that's good enough. Her fate is out of her hands. Minji. Been unlucky. She's drawn quite a severe uphill lie here. And in breezy conditions, not your best friend, because this is going to send the ball up into the wind. Now look, a fraction left here from 115. Now, that's pretty good for Park Minji. Easy to do that off an uphill lie. You sort of hang back, club face stays open. Easy to sort of lose it high right. It's just come to rest on the front edge of the green. No problems. Outside look for the solo lead to come for Park Min Ji, who currently shares it with the 19-year-old amateur Huang Yo Min, fourth ranked on the World Amateur Golf Rankings. It's two at nine under in a group at eight under, including Lee So Me.
at 17 and had the line just lacked the pace. It is difficult depth perception wise when you're putting through shadows. No mistakes. Daddy Parr shared the lead with one hole left to play in her second round. Looking for KLPGA to a title number nine tomorrow afternoon. On the final hole of the day is the group of Lee Seung Yon, Kwon Seo Yon, and this lady, Lee So Mi. Birdie at the last will get her into the final three ball Sunday afternoon. Slight hanging light, got a look, 20 feet left. Long way back, let it slide back into the right. And she overcooked it. Oh, she has, but that's a huge break. My goodness, she, she caromed that off the base of the tree. It's avoided the thick rough. And now she finds herself at the edge of the green. Crazy game golf. Yeah, to last week's champion, Cho Ayan. For a birdie at 17 to get to one over par. Yeah, that kind of week for Cho Ayan. Grew up in New Zealand, played top level amateur golf there before turning professional and winning the Rookie of the Year. Honours in the KLPGA Tour back in 2019. Just hasn't had her best stuff this Saturday at Suwon Country Club. Now, Kwon Siu Yon. Just look at the left edge of the TV tower. Nothing more. Very good shot from Kwon Siu Yon. Played that very nicely indeed. day she's won over the card but a chance for a closing birdie and a round of 72 Let's have a look at this closing hole at Suwon Country Club, the par 480. Slightly elevated tee box to a hole that plays primarily down the hill. It's an awkward little angle of a fairway, guarded by one bunker up the right hand side. You tug your tee shot, well, it's fairly generous, but you could leave yourself. A very lengthy second shot to this 343 meter hole. You can carry that bunker. And you get a big old kick and it can release down to almost that second cross bunker. Giving you a much shorter shot into this green that tilts severely from back to front. That bunker on the right hand side. Well that's a big no-no. Injin he found that and en route to a bogey five to close the pin today. On this closing par four, let's cut in the front right section of this green, 12 from the front and just eight from the right. Now 18 has played into a, into a slight headwind today, so fifth of a shot over its part. Park Minji 
she can take it over that bunker on the right-hand side, and she'll, she'll need to stock shots just a little baby draw, so she can turn it off that with no problems. Cross bunker not going to be in play today. Down the slope you go. Down the slope you go. Very nicely judged tee shot from Park Minji. To the aggressive line. Still not an easy angle in for that second shot. And not with a lot of club in hand. And so me got a good break off the tree to the right hand side of the 18th green. So this left for Birdie. Chip shot she played on 16. And if you're going to run away from her, it involves a touch heavy handed. Lee So Me. She landed it in the right spot. I don't think it was solid contact, perhaps just off the bottom groove. So a bit of tidying up to do for So Me. Now, back on the tee, Yu Hei Ran. And off the club. Has she managed to save it at the bottom? Well, just about. That's going to be at the top of the hill and the, a much longer second shot in for He Run. Finds herself on the cut line playing the last hole. But Minji, well, she's at the business end of the leaderboard in good position down the right half of the fairway. Quickly up to the green and Lee So Me. For a par and a place in the penultimate threesome. That's a brilliant up and down. Well hold putt from Lee So Me. A round of two under par 70. She'll start Sunday very much in the conversation at eight under par. Things already shaping up to be a uh, Real nail biting finish at this sixth event of the 2022 season. That was a wonderful second shot from Kwan Siu Yon. Left to right slider for a birdie at the last and round of 72. Second shot deserved better. It was 73. Leaves her at two under par through 36 holes. Just the one birdie coming at the 15th hole. Kwan Siu Yon. Uh, Joe Hier Lim. At the bottom of the hill on 17 and coming out of the right rough. It'd be a mistake to try and go at this flag. Especially from 126, you go to the the back half of this green and it's a very slippery putt. So it needs to look out towards the front left edge of the green. Open with a 71 yesterday. And she had it to six under par before dropping a shot at 15. A bit clunky. And the player just struggling over the closing stretch of holes. Su Won Country Club. So, in this clear stage is set. Place to play it looks to be. It should be Yu Hei Ran, although Cho Ayans. Stepping in over this rather quickly. Lee Seo Yon in the group ahead can only manage a par at the last, so she is another player at even par. Ayan, I feel not going to make the cut. And that one's hitting left. It's so hard to follow up a, a victory with another solid performance the next week. Kim on the Asian Tour and the KPGA Tour winning at the Meikyung Open last week, missing the cut 
at this week's event as well. K-Rod and Hanging Lie do not want to bring that front right bunker into play. gets away with it that is about three yards away from being all sorts of trouble and that's fine for Heron now she can breathe a sigh of relief and Park Min Ji good tee shot up the right hand side got a slight downhill lie just got to be careful here left of the TV tower don't want to be too aggressive with this and certainly left 12 feet left. Brilliant shot from Park Min Ji. The Ryan game has been in imperious form this Saturday afternoon at Suwon Country Club. She has delighted the hundreds that have gathered to watch this featured group on day two. She's dazzled them with some delightful high end shots. Will they see an eight and final birdie? Park Min Ji's day. Back out to 17 and here Lim with her fourth. Gonna carry it just to the edge of the shadows and it should skip out. Yeah, just never quite carried it far enough for Joe here Lim. So under pressure to avoid a second drop shot in three holes. Glorious sunshine for the second day in a row. Huang Yeo Min, well, it was a bogey free 65 yesterday. Two under par round of 70 this morning. Leaves her at nine under par at the halfway stage. Park Min Ji with an opportunity to come on 18 to take sole possession of the lead with just 18 holes to play.
sun starts to set over the city of Yongin. Joa Yan bringing her third shot to this par 4 18th. A wonderful bit of touch from a tremendously talented player. Not going to be back-to-back -back wins for Cho Ayan here at the NH Ladies Championship. She will bow out of the tournament after a very disappointing round of 75. An outward half of 39 did the damage to the charge of Cho Ayan. Now, Cho here Lim on the 17th. Lengthy pass saving putt. Well, absolutely rammed that one through the break, and the comeback is no gimme as well. For Joe here, Lim was just coming unstuck over the last couple of holes Saturday afternoon. And we said it countless times through the first five events of 2022. So nice to see galleries back out the golf course again. And they have come out in droves. Suwon Country Club just half an hour away from downtown Seoul. Expect to see good sized crowds out for the final round tomorrow afternoon. Yuhei Ran, this for a birdie for her 19th round under par this year. <laughs> Not to be for Hey Run, but if she can manage that little two and a half footer, it's going to be six out of six cuts made for the current money list and points list leader. Now, bogey putt for Cho Hye Lim at 17. Oh, no, no, no. And that one's gone skating by. Uh, now, Suwon offers lots of birdie opportunities, but if you get careless, you could rack up a number. Right. Park Min Ji. Took an eight at the fourth. And has made seven birdies today. And has this around 12 footer for an eighth and final birdie of the day. And to take a one shot lead into tomorrow's final round. Should just die to the right. And nothing more than outside left edge from last year's number one. Grabs a piece of it that remains above ground. Still, and you tot it all up. Eight and all. Park Minji signs for a 68. She'll start Sunday and a share of the lead with Huang Yo Min. Such a good putt. Just carried a fraction too much speed. A good day's work at the office for Park Minji chasing KLPGA Tour title number nine taking it up alongside the 19 year old phenom Huang Yeomin and for you Hei Ran simple two putt par is going to be good enough to keep that made cut streak going Hei Ran safely through to the final round and one under par level par 72 today for you Hei Ran Cho Ayan's not going to be around for the weekend after a disappointing 75. And it's fair to say a couple of fans are going to get some golf balls to take home. Let's get to some highlights. What was a very exciting Saturday afternoon. Jun Yi Sung, well, she made birdies in bunches today. Her final one of the day coming at the par 4 ninth. Two drop shots, eight birdies, and a round of 66 sees her into the final group. Park Minji, well, had the irons dialed in all day long, and it started here on the par four second. A brilliant nine iron from 120 meters. 
setting up her first birdie of day two. Yo Min, 65 to open yesterday. It was almost a 69 to end Saturday. A drop shot on 17 and just a par on the 18th. Posted nine under par. For the fourth ranked amateur in the World Amateur Golf Ranking. Didn't have to see her into the final group. But there were some problems. For the lady who will start the final round tied with her. Part ninja. All sorts of problems at the bar 5 4. That was her third. This and her fourth. They were all tot up to a triple bogey eight. The 23 year old defending champion. At that point, she slipped all the way back to three under par. Lee won. Lead on the rookie of the year points race. Butter was ice cold yesterday. It was red hot today. She was four under in her first five, made a bunch of pars, and closed with that birdie at the ninth to leave her at six under par and in sole possession of ninth going into Sunday. How would Minji respond after the eight at the fourth? In the only way she knows how. Absolutely flagging an iron shot. That her tee shot at the par three fifth setting up a brilliant bounce back birdie she wasn't done just yet step up to the next hole found the fairway played another peach of an iron shot inside of 15 feet the putter goes back to its 2021 best for Park Min G back to back birdies got her back to where she began the weekend at five under. On seven, Lee So Me. She was making a bit of a run as well, bogeying her opening hole. Birdie the par three third. And a delightful shot to the seventh, resulting in a birdie three and an outward half of 35. For the two time winner in 2021. But her old friend Park Min Ji was back at it again. Just the par at seven, and then this putt from the back edge of the eighth green, finding its target, and moving Park Min Ji to six under par. So Min Ji went out in one under par 35, hit a brilliant shot into the 10. And she did so efficiently in the season just past, rolled in. A putt for a birdie to get her to two under on the day. Playing alongside Minji was Yuhei Ran, the current moneyless leader, who had this pitch in on the 11th. The par five, an eagle three, a 3-3 three, three start to the back nine. And we thought, well, Yuhei Ran, she was really going to kick off from there. Not to be who would finish the day at one under par, but does make it safely through to the final round. And how good was this five iron from 140 meters on the 12th. Minji was stalking it. She knew it was good. How good? Well, about eight feet left of the pin good. Of course, it only counts if you pop in the putt and pop in the putt. Minji did, walking the putts in, feeling it. Saturday afternoon, the 14th, Lisa Omi waited patiently. Six straight bars since her birdie at the seventh. Two good shots underneath the hole on the long par four. Resulted in a birdie three en route to a round of 70. Sees Lee So Me into the penultimate group Sunday afternoon. Park Min Ji had one more dazzling iron shot in her. Let a chance get away at the 14th. She wasn't going to let this one slip on 15. Never look at going anywhere but there. A seventh and final birdie. If Park Min G's day, she would sign for a round of four under par 68 to leave her level with the teenage at the top. The teenager at the top, I should say. So that is the state of affairs heading into the final round of the sixth event on the KLPGA Tour season tomorrow afternoon. Park Min G, the defending NH Ladies Champion, 
and the fourth ranked amateur in the world, Huang Youmin. They're tied at nine under par. And they'll tee it up in the final group with the winner of last year's ever collagen Queens, Chen Yi Sung, who made eight birdies against two bogeys this afternoon. Lee So Mi, she's going to be in the penultimate group alongside Song Ga Eun and Park Bo Kyom. The cut line, well, a couple of players still out in the golf course, but you feel it might waffle between one under and even par. It's even par right now, but so much can change. For these players, they're going to be safely through to the final round tomorrow afternoon. We do hope you'll join us for live Sunday coverage from Suwon Country Club. Until then, this is Timothy Lowe saying goodbye for now.